Hey y'all, it's uh, late April, early May, South Louisiana. It's been super windy. Um, not a whole lot of fishing going on, at least for me. Um, doing a little bit of work on my board. And while I had it out, uh, I figured I'd run through it. I had some people ask, you know, how do you fish on a, on a paddle board? How do you have it set up? What do you fish with? Things like that. So we'll run through that. Um, I did, um, did catch one the other day I'll put that on here as well but uh, let's check it out all right y'all so check out the board um, this is this is how I have it set up this is a Riviera 14 foot paddle board super stable obviously I had it camoed out but um, I basically built the ice chest to uh, secure it to the board via this stainless steel uh, hardware it's it's crude in here but it, it, it does the job. I have stainless steel hardware holding down these two rod holders, this eyelet which I use to secure it, and then this blade right here. So the, that's worked out real well for me. I also uh, use these uh, velcro attachments for my paddle, velcro attachments to attach my dry bag here, and then I use this NSI um, bungee uh, tie down it has a 3m adhesive i probably had this for five years or more and i'm telling you i've been super impressed with that i bought four of them i still have the other two i haven't used them yet um i was a little skeptical but um that adhesive i've put it through some rough stuff been super impressed with that um so yeah that's that's, that's basically it simple um and straightforward as far as how i have it set up all right y'all uh this is the uh the tackle that i use 90 percent of the time um like a 6.6 six medium type rod with um 12 pound test on it and the majority of the time i use uh, a johnson gold spoon my brother taught me how to use this probably 30 years ago when we were in college down in Myrtle Grove he taught me how to use this Johnson gold spoon half ounce or quarter ounce weedless it is ideal for redfish if they're around they're gonna hit it um, I've always used it especially on the board because it's it's super easy to deal with uh, the only thing that I that I do load with my spoon is this swivel here and that's because the spoon rotates uh in the water and it'll 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 um spin your spin your line up and you'll have a mess down the road as your as your line gets spinned up so don't forget to put your swivel on your on your line um i, I like the spoon for a lot of reasons but the main reason is when you're casting this thing out it's always in tension if you look at my videos um Anytime I'm, I'm bringing in a redfish, that spoon's in the corner of their mouth, and that's because it's in tension. When they hit it, um, they can't spit it out because it's already in tension. It's going in one side or the other. I rarely lose uh, a, a redfish on a gold spoon. It's always uh, been super reliable for me. Now, I, I do use and have a handful of other things uh, in my dry bag, but it's rare. Um, I'll use um, uh, a top water. It's a lot of fun. I believe this is a she dog. Um, I love the rattle in this, and catching redfish on a, on a she dog uh, like this is, is a lot of fun. Um, I also use a, a matrix shad uh, plastic. You can't go wrong with the white uh, plastic, as well as uh, I think this is purple haze. Those do real well, either on the bottom or on a pop of cork. But uh, for my money, um, this is where it's at, and uh, it's definitely uh, my go-to. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'm gonna put that fish I caught earlier on this gold spoon. He's a nice uh, slot red. Oh man, I just lost my paddle. There goes my paddle. That's all right. I know how to swim. That's the key. Oh, maybe that red fish will. Bring it to my paddle. There goes my paddle.